Today, we are going to fix this error code. You may be getting this error in different ways, but the solution I will show you will solve them all. The solution was shared both on Microsoft's own forum and on Reddit and solved the problem for hundreds of people. So I'm going to show you a solution that is both reliable and tested. The first thing we need to do is open PowerShell. We come to the search section and open PowerShell as admin. Here, we need to type a code here. You can find the code in the video description below. You can copy and paste them from there. After pasting the code, hit enter. After doing that, we can close PowerShell. For the second step, we need to open Regedit. We come to the search section and search for Regedit. After searching for it, we need to navigate services. To do this, we click on local machine, system, current control set, and then services. Here, we need to delete gaming services and gaming services.net folders. If you don't have the folders like me, you don't need to do anything. But if you have the folders, delete it. After deleting the folders, close Regedit. For the third step, we need to reset Xbox app and Microsoft Store. To do this, we come to the search section and search for Xbox. After doing this, right click on it and click on App Settings. After opening App Settings, scroll down and click on Reset. Now, we are going to do this for Microsoft Store as well. For our fourth step, we need to open Run. To do this, we press Windows and R keys at the same time. After opening Run, we type Term in the Run menu and click on OK. In the Open folder, we select all the files and then delete them. We close this folder and open Run again. In this time, we type percent temp percent and click on OK. We do the same for here. We select all the files again and delete them. After deleting, we close the folder. We open run again and in this time, we type prefetch and click on OK. We do the same here. If we encounter folder access denied notification, tick do this for our current items and click on continue. You can also encounter file in use notification. Just tick the box and click skip. For our fifth step, we need to open Credential Manager. To do this, we come to the search section and search for Credential Manager. After doing this, we click on Windows Credentials. Here, we need to delete all XPI GRTS credentials. This stands for probably Xbox Identity Game Related Temporary Storage. So, we can delete these temporary storage credentials. Just click on it and click on Remove. After doing that, we open Run one more time. And in this time, we type percent local update percent and click on OK. In the open folder, we double click on Packages. Here, we need to find Microsoft Xbox Identity Provider. After finding, double click on it. Here, we need to double click on AC folder. After that, we also double click on Token Broker. Here, we need to delete Accounts and Cache folders. We are done with our steps. Now, we need to restart our PC. This is a very important thing to do, so don't skip it. After restarting our PC, we open PowerShell as admin. We deleted some things from our PC. In this code, we will replace them. Paste the code and hit enter. Now, Windows will automatically download some packages. After downloading the packages, we need to restart our PC one more time. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem is solved or not. We have come to the end of the video. If you found this guide useful, then consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Take care and see you in the next video.